But now is it's all the movement what makes it different from a 4-4-2, it's different. Abraham, pushed away by the goalkeeper. And an early scare for Real Madrid inside the opening 30, for uh, Zenit inside the opening. Yeah, wonderful play, just finds a little bit of space. There's a step over, gets it on his left foot, tries to bend it in that far corner, but luckily enough there they could just get the ball out for a corner though, but good pressure straight away. Lovely ball threaded through, just out of the reach of Abraham, skips away from the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper went to ground early, cleared off the line. Might get a second chance here, Abraham. For a pass through to Abraham. There he is, what I like about this as well, he goes round the keeper, not looking to go down, still keeping his eye on trying to get a goal, tries to pass it into the net, but the defender's on the line. A really good play there, and a fantastic ball through to Abraham, just tries to finish it. Header was by Alex Sabatia. Good attacking spell from Zenit, but it will come to an end with a free kick given away. There's the little tug back from Kozlov. Good sub well done, Mario. With the free kick. Yeah, does really well then. Good play, wonderful tackle there. Gets the foul for his team at the end. But all of a sudden, it could just lift the spirits of your team up. Good determination. Gets the foul. Look. Here come Madrid with Yere. It's three against two. It's Yere. Good save by Moscovici. But the follow up goes, well, flashes across the face of goal. It has gone out for a goal kick. Chances are going begging. There's some really good chances. They're doing the hard thing by getting there. Here's your eight. There, all of a sudden, you're expecting him. Now that he gets the first strike, good save by the keeper, and he gets a second bite of it. And you think, well, go on, keep your head over the ball and just slide it past the keeper. But as you can see, it just bounces up there. Very difficult skill to just keep your head over it. But as I said before, Real Madrid are doing the hard stuff. They're creating the chance. You can see everything at the moment comes from pass. Here's the forward pass. Great the first ball. Goal. Oh, good save by the goalkeeper. Still going, Abraham. Can he finish this time? Good save again by Muscovichev. Double save by Samu that won the ball back. Lovely ball threaded through, but good double save. Yeah, well done by the keeper. Look, they're holding on now at the moment, Zenit. Here's a strike. How many of these strikes has he had so far, Abraham? You know, you think sooner or later he's going to get that first goal, but just saying as well, Paz, he was the one. They tried to play out from the back, Zenit, through to Abraham, but Abraham couldn't finish. Well, they finished this time, though. From the corner, it's Nico Paz who got the touch on Mario's corner. And a very similar header to the one we saw in the Suwon Samson game yesterday. Just used the pace on the ball. This has the opening goal of the game. Yeah, wonderful ride right off the training ground. They've hit the certain area with the cross. And it's about attacking it all of a sudden. There's Nico Paz, gets in there and manages just to guide it into that far corner. Didn't think he was that type of player, but he's, he's obviously an all-round game just to put it into the far corner. Here's a chance, though, for Mariano. In off the post, great finish. And Zenit to level within a couple of minutes. It's a wonderful finish, and it's their opening goal of the tournament. And Zenit have leveled. It's the beauty of football. As much as Real Madrid have played wonderful and had the opportunities, this man here now has got his side back into it. Marries is all part of the learning curve of, uh, of, of when you're eventually going to be a professional football and hopefully playing at the highest level. There's the goal that level things up. Great strike right across the goalkeeper. Couldn't have played. There. I mean, let's look back at this goal again. For Zenit St. Pe Petersburg, and what a strike it was as well. Only one place you can put it, and he gets it in perfect. Wonderful from Marinov. Am I right by saying that? Marianov. Yeah. Marianov, wonderful strike as well. There he is there with the old love heart. So Ball driven across again. Abraham, good save by Muscovichev. Well, another point blank save by the goal. Another really good stop. Yeah, another wonderful delivery. Speaking about the quality of the crosses. Go on, Abraham. He does everything right. Just tries to guide it past the goalkeeper. And the goalkeeper has been fantastic in this first half. He really has kept his side in it. But once again, another big opportunity from Rio. Great run by Haredo. Got it back from Samu. Real tussle on the edge of the area. Free kick goes Zenit's way though. He's just ran fourth then. They work it well on the left hand side. He gets the ball back and he tries to beat the defender. Just deliver the ball into the box straight away. Ready on off. Forward to Luzan. It's a good ball across. It's a great chance. Fine finish. Kozlov makes it 2 1. Nobody picks him up. David Jimenez had tucked inside and Kozlov. In plenty of space in the penalty. It's like a boxing match, this. They've been battered, they've been punched, they've found it difficult. All of a sudden, what character they've shown. They've gone a goal down, 
Then all of a sudden, then they bring it back to 1-1. Just before half-time, they go and make it 2-1. And they've had to roll with the punches. It's been very difficult for them, but they've shown an awful lot of character. Zenit St. Petersburg, and eventually, eventually the cracks have started to appear a little bit for Real Madrid. It's 2-1 for Zenit St. Petersburg, and uh, no diving, nothing like that at all. We've seen a lot of quality. This game is not over at all. It's going to be a yellow card for Kikorov, and I thought he played the ball cleanly. He did take the man, but he's won the ball. Yeah, he does. He wins it. Is it, is it a tackle from behind? But not, no. not for me. Obviously, he's coming forward. He's got David Jimenez outside him. Two waiting in the centre. It's Yere! Good save again. And the follow-up is turned in by Samu at Real Madrid level. You have to feel for Muspachev, the goalkeeper, who's made another fine save. But Samu following up levels things up. Yeah, he's done everything what he can do, the goalkeeper, to try and keep the ball out of the net. There's that first save. A little bit too much power for him just to put it away around the side and knock it out of play, but it just bounces, and there's Samu. Not going to get an easier opportunity in that. There's a keeper just trying to get off the floor, and he just lifts it above him to get back into the roll. Here is the substitute, Pashenikov. Straight away into the action. Great ball across! Wonderful goal helped in by Luzerne. What a cross and what a finish! And as they did in the first half, within minutes of it being pegged back, Zenit St. Petersburg have retaken the lead, and what a substitution! Good old-fashioned wing play there, getting on the outside of the fullback. There's the delivery, and what a finish as well. This side here will not die at all. Great delivery, great wing play, but an even better finish as well. All of a sudden, Real Madrid come out absolutely flat. He's also coming on. So these are the final two changes for Madrid, are they? No, I think they've uh, made two changes, haven't they, so far? So we're saying we were told Nico Paz wouldn't play the whole game. So we just see, look, Samu nicely played in. Nico Paz gets the rebound right the way across and under the goalkeeper. And Real Madrid have leveled again. It's 3 3. Nico Paz with a fine shot across the goalkeeper into the box. 3 3. That's why this boy comes with a big reputation and his quality, what he has got. Only one place he could hit it, just hits it in between the defender's legs, goes for that far corner and gets it absolutely perfect. Oh, he's let that one go, the goalkeeper left it a little bit short, probably the first mistake he's made, goes in feet first. That will be a penalty, brings down Yere, and the goalkeeper trying to return for his earlier error, gives away the penalty, Mosfachev went feet first, Yere take the lead. How many times we see this, trying to play out from the back, there's a time, there's a place, the keeper who's been wonderful all night gets it horribly wrong, there's that slight connection as he goes past him, he knows what he's doing, there's not really a connection to be honest, he more or less treads on his ankle, you know, but he goes down, It's not. that's not a penalty, that, but I suppose once again VAR looks at that, <laughs> you know what I mean, I will keep saying that because this gives us an idea yeah. with the comparison of what's it like and what, what's it not, not like without it, so... There's a plus and a minus, really. That VAR should have not given a penalty for that. Absolutely. It is Yere, the man that was brought down, that will take the penalty and rolls it into the corner. Sends Mosfachev the wrong way. It's took a little They made it very, very difficult, Real Madrid. And the quality, what they've got, possibly should have finished Zenit off early in the first half. Eventually they've got there, and they've trailed twice in the game, but eventually now they've taken the lead, and it's took 67 minutes of very, very hard work. Mistake by the goalkeeper from Zenit, who's been absolutely wonderful and kept his side in it, tried to play out from the back, then the penalty was given, and then it was Yari who managed just to slide it past the keeper to make it 4-3, and what a game of football we've had. Which is in perfect condition. Mark went for the shot, took a deflection, but gathered again by the goalkeeper. It's flicked off the back of Kirsch on its way through. He's going to be the player coming on, and he will come on now, and he'll replace Samu, who also got his name on the score sheet a little earlier on to make it 2-2. So Samu, Real Madrid substitutions. Oh, it's a heavy touch. Collision with the goalkeeper, it was Bierre who went for the challenge, and that was a real hefty challenge as well. They are from the back again, 
You know, I do, I'm not totally against it, but it's just the right time for doing it. You know, this is where the penalty, where, which led to them going 4-3 down was them, just trying to play out from the back. Once again, they nearly get themselves in trouble. It was a heavy collision. It was a heavy touch from Yere, although the defender, Colladan, did just enough in front of him. Black stays down, this is Pepe! Oh, the angle was tight, but somehow he's found a way through. And Pepe, the substitute, makes it 5-3. And surely now there's no way back for Zenit. David Pepelin Garcia gets the goal, and somehow he's managed to squeeze that in. Well, it was Marianov that was a little bit slow out that played him on side, but beating the goalkeeper at his near post. And Mosvichev won't be happy about that. Vasilev tried to dive in with a challenge, couldn't get the challenge. And it's now 5 3. That ball struck the foot of the post, weaving away through, just at the foot of Mosvichev's post. Three minutes added time seems to be the standard added time for second halves with all those substitutes. Ball goes out in the corner, and the referee decides that that is that. Well, a thoroughly entertaining game.